Over the past few months, we have witnessed multiracial and multi-generational activists stand united to speak for the voiceless, stand united to strengthen our democracy and heal our nation. The human rights and democracy defenders lessons really connect to our freedom to protest, to rally, to discuss the issues that are facing our students and their communities. What is so magnificent and remarkable about this project is it allows students to connect the past, the present, and hopefully in the future, it will allow them to gain the skills and the passion and the knowledge that they need to take informed action on human rights and social justice issues in their communities. Some of the defenders of human rights and democracy showcased in these lessons are Fannie Lou Hamer, who has a famous quote, nobody's free until everybody's free. Benjamin Hooks, one of the founders of the NAACP. Dolores Huerta, who always talked about how working in the community leads to you being a natural leader. The Black Panther Party and the connection between what's going on now in society with Black Lives Matter and racial justice and all of the issues our students face. And John Lewis. Initially, we chose another defender, and I saw John Lewis on television visiting the Black Lives Matter Plaza. People in D.C. and around the nation are sending a powerful and strong message. Hmm. It would be great for us to do our lesson plan on this defender. Let's give him his flowers while he is still here. It's very important for students to know about this icon. John Lewis grew up poor. He grew up not having access to his library, but yet it was a teacher who encouraged him to read, and I think that it was that teacher that planted the seed within him to want to get an education, to gain knowledge. And the more he learned, the more he wanted to do being arrested, beaten by the police, but that did not stop him. And look at what he ended up becoming. Unfortunately, he passed away. However, his legacy still lives on and we can continue to carry that torch today. The lesson will help my students to understand who he was as a defender. How did his advocacy for voting rights legislation provide for open access? So from researching him and getting a full profile and learning about who he was, they can carry that on in their own communities. We were different as far as where we physically live, but the goal was the same, to encourage our students to exercise their rights as American citizens, to go out and vote if they were old enough, to encourage those in their community and families to vote, to be engaged in the political process. You know, no age is too young to go out there and get involved. So each lesson starts out with a hook, an activity, an image that really catches the interest and connects the past with the present. Then we move on to a section where kids build knowledge of that defender and the context in which they live. I question America. Then questions for discussion and inquiry that will help kids to start posing their own questions. And then most important, what will kids do going out and talking to defenders in your community, gathering information about them, sharing that, not just with your class, but with your broader community and expressing your own ideas about why their work is so important and how it connects to those broader examples of history. These lessons were created by teachers, for teachers and students, and you can really see the passion. They guide students down a path to allow them to realize that their voices do matter, that they can make a difference in society. And really, that was the goal of these lessons, for students to continue to take informed action in their communities and to teach their peers how to do so. This Defenders Project offers a really powerful and innovative way for kids to think about civics from the point of view of their neighbors and people around them who are acting and working together to make positive change happen. Freedom, democracy, and citizenship all play a role, I feel, in this project because as a citizen, you're guaranteed, or you're supposed to be guaranteed, the right to have freedom. But unfortunately, every citizen does not have equal access. So sometimes we have to fight to be treated equally and for our freedom. And if at any time a student or anyone in America sees that they don't have the right, I think if they see something, they should say something, they should speak up, and they should go out 
and fight for what's right. This is America. We are the people and we are entitled to freedom and justice. When we look at all of the unrest in our society today and in the communities our students live in, violence, racial injustice, human rights violations, these lessons are the tools that students are going to need to be able to be defenders of democracy and human rights in their own communities.